Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anoto in China, but today Anoto is in Kenya. I'm here at Kitale Nature Conservancy. I'm having a good time observing the animals around this place. Welcome to another episode of Kitale Nature Conservancy or Ndura Conservancy, but Kitale Nature Conservancy is the name. Welcome back. My name is Brian Anoto, and this is Anoto in China, the name of my YouTube channel. Thank you for following me from Guangzhou, Kunming City, Changsha, Nairobi City, Nakuru, Eldoret, and now in Kitale. So, Kitale Nature Conservancy, let's do this, the second episode. Let's go meet Sharon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right, so welcome to another episode. This is Anoto in China. This is Sharon in Kenya. Sharon in Kenya. Maybe, I don't know, she'll start a YouTube channel. <laughs> so let's walk around and see what's happening. So introduce this other part before we start walking around. Mm, this part is for caged animals. Caged animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like lion, mm -hmm. hyena, mm -hmm. leopard, mm -hmm. baboons mm -hmm. and monkeys, mm -hmm. yeah, cranes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. This one most uh, it looks like uh, Kitale, not Kitale, Nairobi. Have you been to Nairobi Animal Orphanage? No. Yeah, it looks like uh, almost the same setup. Uh, almost the same setup. So um, we start with the least boring, and then we finish with the highlights of one of the most exciting animals about this place. So let's not do, let's not start with the most interesting and then move to the most boring so you know this place better take me to the most boring part and then we come we build up on that i want to ignore these lions here they can't start our video on a high note i want to start it as we build the anticipation to the lions so what do you think about that yeah yeah, nice yeah, yeah. okay so she's accepted the idea i don't want to finish with the lions because so many people love to see the lions so we're building our story from the most okay i'm not saying it's boring okay it's interesting but we want to build that anticipation yeah so we start with the hyena yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so mr hyena had to do it okay take it away This is the hyena. Mm -hmm. Its scientific name is Crocuta Crocuta. Crocuta Crocuta. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the hyena uh -huh. feeds on meat. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it has 32 to 34 teeth. What? Yeah. Yeah. Then and this is the spotted hyena. The spotted hyena. Yeah. I have questions about the hyena. Yes. Are you ready for the questions? <laughs> They should be not too hard. <laughs> they should be? Not too hard. Okay, not too hard. <laughs> but just general. Um, how can you differentiate between a male hyena and a female hyena? The male one has spots. But okay, they both have spots. It's a question we need to uh, disclose. But normally they told me when I was learning about animals that uh, the hyena, the male one, you can't differentiate the male hyena from the female hyena because also the male ones have both the, can I use the scientific, okay, the penis or phenyl and uh, it has like a false, a false vulva. Like it's there to be seen but not to do anything. It has a false vulva. And uh, also if you observe the female, it has a, uh, now the real vulva and a false penis. Mm. Yeah, so sometimes it's very, very hard to differentiate, differentiate. between the male and the female. But also one of the most uh, significant things we can differentiate, you know, in the animal kingdom, the female is a bit dull, but the male one is more beautiful. So if you see in a herd of hyenas, the most beautiful hyena in that herd, that probably is the male. And also, the females are small in size, but the males are bigger in size. So maybe that's also another distinction. And then the males are more aggressive. So you'll see the, the male hyena trying to prove that he's the man of the territory. Yeah, and uh, sometimes, uh, 
Okay, let me ask another question uh, about the hyena. Why do so many hyenas die in the process of being given birth to? Even the mother sometimes can die. Okay. <laughs> okay, they say that uh, the hyena, the vulva is very, very narrow. So sometimes uh, the baby cannot pass or the neonate cannot pass through the vulva. So in the process, um, it can try to give birth until it's, the energy is depleted and then it dies in the process. Mm -hmm. Or maybe sometimes the baby can pass and then it can be constricted so it suffocates and it dies. So that's why right about now there are plans to conserve the hyenas because most of them die during birth and then their numbers keep on depleting. Yeah. And it's actually very, 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 a very, very painful exercise for the hyena to give birth. So that's what I know, or what I've heard about the hyena. It's very far over there. I hope it can come around. Oh, it's actually a scavenger. So in the ecosystem, this one is very, very, very useful because when the lion hunts and it cannot clear the food or the hunted animal, these ones, they come, these ones and the vultures and other, vulture, other pred not predators, scavengers, they come, eat everything, so they keep the environment clean. So these ones, they clear the ecosystem. All right. Masi? Yeah. The one. This one is called Masi. Yeah, it's called Masi. Masi. Okay, hello Masi. Let's see. It's trying to eat. Trying to eat a fruit from Sodom Apple. Masi. Hello, say hi to the camera. Hey Masi. Hello. Okay, maybe table manners. Feeding on this. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Can you snatch the camera? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, so I take <laughs> and go take selfies. So tell me something about Mercy. Is Mercy single? Yeah. It's very, very single. She's single? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And she eats a lot. Oh, like this one? Yeah. She even eats the tons. Yeah, she's. Then she's stubborn. Stubborn. Yeah. Okay, she's a lady, <laughs> mm. and she's lonely. So yeah. I think maybe if you introduce a man, you know, in the animal kingdom, if you introduce the man, it will it will cooperate. It will start acting normally. Mm -hmm. So maybe the boredom, because these ones are very social animals. Mm. They like to live in groups. Mm. So if you isolate this one, and this one looks very young, so maybe. It needs, it has that heat. It needs to be complimented by the male. So that's why it's very stubborn when it's alone. <laughs> the tone actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the tone. <laughs> <laughs> and do they have a, do they menstruate? Yeah, it usually menstruate. Tell me about it. I just see her, but I've, not, I've never looked into it. It just menstruate like, the way ladies usually menstruate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like once in a month? Yeah. So when you come here, you can see blood? Yeah. Oh. Okay, these things actually, they menstruate. Although I don't know, I've never had an interest to dig more into that. But it's a very good concept. Because they say the baboons and monkeys and gorillas are almost similar to man. So that's the baboon. And it has a... No, 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 no hairs on the ass. So the brother monkey. But it's so far. The brother monkey is the father to the church. This another one, and this one. It's called PK. PK, Peter yeah. Kenneth. He's a male one. A male one. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And the other one is a female. Is this a, 
It's not a baboon, right? It's a baboon. It's a baboon. It's a baboon. It's a baboon. It's a male one. A male baboon. Yeah. Oh, but very, very young. Yeah. Where do you get most of your animals in these uh, cages? KWS. Or oh, they source it from KWS. Yeah. Like the animals that have been isolated or orphaned animals or they just collect in the wilderness? The isolated ones, some people usually bring them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I find a stuck baboon, I can bring it. Yeah. It. What? <laughs> He's trying to grab the food. This food, do you feed it or people are throwing food to it? No. There's a stuff there. Yeah, but we usually put some food for it. Okay, okay. Usually eat. Yeah. Struggling to get the food. Alright. Let's keep walking. Like t 10 years ago, this place was not this way. This used to be just a field around here. The rodents are not here. They escaped. Some what? Giant rats here. Because some I, yeah, I remember some giant rat here. Yeah. yeah. They escaped. Oh my god. So no rodents today, so let's see what happens on the other end. Do you have crocodiles here? Yeah. Okay, okay. Crocodile. What time do you need to go home? Mm. Five thirty. What time is it right now? Oh, so we have but like I've seen the other ones that are still baby. Yeah, so we have like uh, thirty minutes yeah. to finalize on this episode. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So what are we having on this end? A male ostrich. A male ostrich? Yeah. How do you tell a male ostrich from a female ostrich? Oh, <laughs> does that mean, okay, what's the meaning of that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see it first. Okay, uh, this one is just lonely like this, no company? Yeah, it's just like this, lonely. When I came, some few years ago, there used to be several ostriches around this place. And I would like to keep an ostrich in my farm in the near future. Because we only need just a small space like this. Can it be possible? Yeah, it can be possible. But okay. uh -huh. you know sometimes ostriches are dangerous. Um, how dangerous? Hmm? How dangerous? When, for example, Suki so can kick you. It can, kick kick you. You. Mm -hmm. it yeah. can give you like ngoto. Ngoto yeah, is it this. It yeah. knocks you yeah. with the fist. Maybe when it's uh, lonely. Maybe when it's uh, angry also. Yes, it yeah. can just knock your, your, your head. Yeah. How many species of ostriches are there in Kenya? Mm. I just know two. Awesome. Which one and which one? Common and Somali. The common ostrich. Mm. The, this is the common ostrich. And the Somali. The Somali has red ties. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, how to tell the difference between a male ostrich and a female? The same concept. Males one are very beautiful. And then females very Dull. Yeah. And here what do we have? Leopard. 
So there's a leopard? Yeah. What? You can't even tell there's a leopard here. <laughs> I think it has camouflaged with the environment. Then there's a leopard here. But we can't stress it. <laughs> what? You can be looking at it, but it's behind you. <laughs> You want to chase the leopard. Is it a big leopard? Not a big one, but when it's... Maybe in the cages? No, it cannot go there. It usually just rotates here. Why is it hiding? Maybe it, hi it lies on the periphery? What? You cannot see it. It blends perfectly with the environment. Oh, it's just somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. The leopard. Maybe we try observe from... What? It has blended with the environment. You can't even notice it. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. What? You can't even tell there's a leopard here. Why is it hiding instead? Maybe it wants to jump. And why did it do that? It's only active as night. Oh. Leopard. Do you know its name? Hmm. It was eating us. The leopard. Panthera carpadus. Tell me something about the leopard. <laughs> leopard. Uh -huh. Its scientific name is Panthera padus. Mm -hmm. Then it can run up to a speed of 58 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Oh, it's like Omanyala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it's nocturnal, mm -hmm. only active at night. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why maybe during the day it spends more time sleeping. Yeah. yeah. What? And uh, what about the spots? It has small spots compared to cheetah. Mm -hmm. How can you compare between a leopard and a cheetah? A cheetah has tear marks. Mm -hmm. nah, yeah, you know. leopard okay. then. Okay, so she says the cheetah has tear marks, but this one does not have. And it's doing this thing. Cheetah. Also another difference, the cheetah and the leopard. The, the leopard has big spots compared to the cheetah, right? This is the leopard. The, the, okay, the leopard has, between the leopard and the cheetah. Cheetah it, has big. Big spots. Yeah. And this one small spots. Small. And which ones are shaped like a rosette or like this net? The, 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 the cheetah. The cheetah is shaped like the rosette. Mm. Okay, awesome. Crocodile. Crocodile. Let's move close and see the. Should be a Nile crocodile, maybe. <laughs> the Nile crocodile. This is the crocodile. I hear this one is also very, very sweet. Have you ever eaten a crocodile? Hey, no. Why? Crocodile meat. Somebody cannot eat crocodile's meat. They normally eat the tail, especially this young one. They kill it, and then the the tail is the most fleshiest part. Almost similar to to fish. Yeah, good good source of protein. <laughs> uh, but so you can eat crocodile. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm I'm going to Mombasa soon. I want to test the crocodile. 
to taste not to eat okay if it's good i will eat all of it because when i was in china a friend of mine called wang jingyu took me to a donkey meat restaurant so when we were in the donkey meat restaurant so the initial idea was we ordered two things pork and donkey meat so he was to eat the donkey meat i was to eat the pork but after testing the donkey i ate all the donkey and he had to eat the pork it was very very sweet so you, you never know unless you try but if it's uh, if you don't want it well but if you can try you might actually find it so sweet and maybe you could be eating it yeah and there's also another one over there but we go because there are there's an audience there we go there first and then we come to this end right do they have a tour guide yes Hmm? They want to finalize on she's sorting some other things then we go see those those amazing birds. I know the name. Let's wait for her and uh, because she is actually the tour guide. I want her to explain to me what we have here. Okay, I know the name so I used to be so good in the knowledge about birds, so let's see what's happening. On this other end, they have some very, very good collection of animals, and this section, we have some birds, some birds, and you can see that decoration kind of. Hey, you've come to join us, welcome. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Winnie. Winnie? From Kital Nature Conservancy. Conservancy. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, this is Sharon from Kital Nature Conservancy. Yeah. yeah. And this is Anoto in China. Okay, <laughs> literally I'm in Kenya. <laughs> but <laughs> Anoto in China is my name. Are these your uh, kids? No, these are just visitors. Where are your oh, visitors? Parents. This one looks Mama like you. This one looks like you. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe you came. Hello, what's your name? Okay, okay. Hi, Taj. Unaitwa nani? Italia. They look alike, right? Yeah. Yeah, you actually look alike. Even the hair. Even the hair, even the shape of the head. Wow. For real. <laughs> so I, I thought maybe you guys, maybe she's uh, he, so you are your son. No. Okay, okay. It's okay, okay. All right. We proceed to this other end. What are we seeing right now? <laughs> you can join us, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You can see friends. Uh -huh. Yeah, from Uganda, they are the national birds of Uganda. Awesome. Yeah, we also have their marabos. Marabo. Yeah. Yeah, marabos too. Yes. Yeah. So let me see if I can. And there is them. Vulture. Mountain bastard. Oh, the, the mountain yeah. bastard. Yeah. Bazaar or bastard? Bazaar. Bazaar. Oh, ba mount, mountain bazaar. Bazaar. Yeah. Um, so, these cranes of Uganda, they normally endemic to Uganda and then they spread to other parts of Africa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how long do they migrate? They, are they found in Europe or just within Africa? in Africa. Okay. Yeah. Um, are there a species of the crane or this just one species? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How many species? I think two. Two. Yeah. Uh, this one should be the crown? Grey crested crane. Grey crested crane. Grey yeah. because of the patch on the neck? Yeah. And then this the crown crane. Yeah. Okay. This endemic to Uganda. The national birds of Uganda. Actually, the national team of Uganda is called the Cranes. The national team of Uganda. It's called Cranes. But the one, Arambe Stars is a, Arambe Stars. The national team for Kenya is called Arambe Stars. Yeah. But for Uganda, football team is called Cranes. Yeah. And actually, I schooled in Kitale, Kitale Academy, but now it's Kitale School. This bird right here used to be our theme bird. 
like you see the motto, the motto is persevere. So on the sweater, the badge, they this this badge, the crane, and then the the motto. So I totally that with this badge. Yeah, and, and what about the marabu stock? Why does it have this porch over here? Okay, also me, I don't know. I, I'm not so good in birds, so. But I'm told most of them they store their food there. Yeah, and they feed in flesh. They? Feed in flesh. And Only flesh, not. Flesh. So this one you provide, you throw flesh sometimes? Mm. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, I, I didn't look into that. So it's like omnivorous or carnivorous? Carnivorous. Carnivorous. Okay, the marabou stock. I wish it could stand so that you see its thing, but <laughs> uh, this and nothing. Okay. So we go round and see the other crocodile. But let's appreciate the marabou stock over here and uh, the cranes, these beautiful birds. Yes. They are very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. She said they are very beautiful. So let's see what's happening on the other end. Of, uh, these ones are so many because most of them, they last time I went to the nature trail, there were so many around this place. These guys want to go, but for that is not it, right? Almost. Almost. All right, so in the next 15 minutes, we wind up. And then the mountain bazaar over there. Yeah, mountain bazaar. Let me see if I can have a. Say hi. <laughs> but at least I have got a good angle of it. Okay, and uh, this place this is the shape of the map of Kenya. Yes. In polythene. I don't know why it's in polythene. <laughs> oh, like this? Yeah. Oh, so oh, for decoration, the map of Kenya. Mm. So the behind the scenes is like this. Okay, let's see what's here. The crocodiles. the crocodiles. Which type of crocodiles? The Nile crocodiles, these ones. Yeah. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Which one is an alligator? An alligator is endemic to America, but this one is the crocodile. Uh, the crocodile, the mouth is V-shaped, but the alligator is somehow a smooth oval, if you can say. And then another thing, the mouth of a crocodile, they protrude outside, but the ones of a predator interlock. And the Nile crocodile is grey in colour, the predator is black in colour. These are found in Africa and other parts of the world. But uh, alligator is in America, I think South and North America. Yeah, there's one alligator at the National Museum of Kenya. If you go to the snake park, there's one alligator there. Yeah, yeah. Crocodiles. Let's see. And there's one thing about the crocodiles that the digestion system is very slow. Very slow? Yeah. So, it, like, like a snake? I don't know for the snack, but oh. I'm just known for the crocodile. So, so it can eat one meal now and stay for a long time? Yeah, it eats one a week. Okay, okay. Crocodile. I wish I could get a very... Am I allowed to stand over there? Yes. Okay, let me stand here. So we get a good angle.
Right. So one more to go. The lion panthera leo. And actually they are taking me around. Okay. She has been taking me around, but she's come for her. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you are destroying the show. Really? Yeah. Because she's scaring, so she has come for me. And I'm scared. So she's scaring and I'm scared. Okay, am I allowed to release? No, no, you're not allowed. Now that you're here, you join us. Yeah. But anyway, you know, just to uh, break the monotony. So let's <laughs> finalize. No, no big deal. No, no big deal. So any other thing around this place apart from the lions? Uh, only the lions. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. And then on the other end, just houses? Traditional houses? Yeah. Are they open? No, they're not open. Oh, still under construction? Yeah. For the last 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been under construction. <laughs> yeah, but it takes time. But we finalized with the, the lion and then we call it a day. The Pantera Leo. You come from the same institute? Yes. Okay, Nakuru. Have you been to Lake Nakuru National Park? Of course. Tell me three amazing places in Lake Nakuru National Park. Three amazing places? Yes. The, the, the biggest place, like the amazing one, is the park. Okay, inside Lake Nakuru National Park, mm -hmm. three spots, spots that stand out for you. I want to know if you've grasped Lake Nakuru National Park. Three spots? Yeah. We just went there once. So, so what do you remember? Makaria Falls. Makaria Falls, very amazing. And so many baboons on Makaria Falls. Yeah, yeah. And the public picnic sites. Yeah. Uh -huh. You? The buffaloes. The buffaloes. Yeah. The white rhino. Yeah. Did you see where the white rhinos met? Yeah. In the in the in the candelabra, the trees. Yeah, but it was burnt. But they are trying to revive it. Uh, me, the unique thing about it is the lesser flamingo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why is the lesser flamingo pink? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lesser flamingo is pink. Mm. Why? Okay, if you if if I get the answer, I'll give you an award. You? <laughs> oh, so if I get the answer, you give me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Deal. Okay. Let me try. It. You try it. Because of the climate. Uh -huh. So what about the climate? <laughs> okay, one more try. So you guys decide on the gifts you'll give me. Okay, actually there are two species, the lesser flamingo and the greater flamingo. Okay. The greater flamingo is black. It's white or it's some patches of black or small patches of uh, pink. But the lesser flamingo is basically pink with a few patches of uh, white and black. But why they are pink is because they eat the blue-green algae. The blue-green? Algae. Okay. Yeah, so the blue-green algae contains uh, an element called beta-carotene. Like carrot is pink, it's a brown, orange, orange. So that thing, when they eat it, it manifests on the, on the, on the skin. So the, the feathers become pink in color. Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons. And also, um, they are tend to be in the salty lakes because the blue-green algae, they grow very well in alkaline environments. So they feed on the blue-green algae, they, they become pink. Yeah, yeah. awesome. At least you've learned something. Yeah, yeah, but I've also learned uh, so many things from... You are so good with trees. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some names you are saying very very complicated <laughs> so what do we have here finally we have the lion mm -hmm. and the lioness mm -hmm. and this is a class of cats like oh the cat family, yeah, the mm -hmm. cat family. and the big cats yeah. 
and this class of cats they are very friendly they are very friendly okay very friendly yeah. to to who to themselves oh <laughs> <laughs> not to us okay 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 yes uh -huh. and this this lands have contain 42 ticks Tits. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. 42? 42 tits. How did you count them? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That is what I know. Mm -hmm. And for like they feed on flesh mm -hmm. and they also they they live in a captivity area like this one mm -hmm. for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they are outside, they can live for 14 to 15 years. So what makes it in captivity to live long, long time? It's because they are offered food, mm -hmm. like they are offered mm -hmm. Oh. They don't struggle to... To get a uh, soft life. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. How about you, something about the lion? <laughs> mm. These two lions, mm -hmm rest for about 20 hours uh -huh. in a day yeah in a day and they're only active for four hours like right now they are active moving up and down are they in a channel or the you know yeah. mostly the union yeah yeah, yeah. then yeah. when it roars uh -huh. it sounds reaches up to eight kilometers yeah. eight kilometers especially in the night yeah eight kilometers eight kilometers oh i didn't know about that and uh, what are something else about the lions between the males and the females? Which one hunts most? The, the female one. Oh, why? Because the male one mm -hmm. always protects the territory, so mm -hmm. the female one is going to hunt and bring out food. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And also mm -hmm. during the time they are uh, eating. Mm -hmm. The male eats first, mm -hmm. then the female one eats the male. Oh, the male normally eats, f okay, okay, fast, like quickly or no, like slowly? Number one, oh. to eat is the male. Oh. Yeah, then the female one Okay. the second. It's like the female one uh -huh. respects the, the male. Oh, I like how you put the female one respects. <laughs> because yeah. my next question, what do you think about that? in relation to humans <laughs> <laughs> yeah what do you think about that it's all about just respect respect yeah. okay so let's flip the question to you can you prefer being in such a relationship with a man like the lion you first <laughs> me i prefer uh, i prefer mm -hmm. yeah. okay so uh, what do you prefer which setup? Uh, explain a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer because I'll be, I'll be respecting my man mm -hmm. like the how the female lion respects the mm -hmm. the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you provide to him when you cook. Make sure he eats first, and then you eat later. I ensure that he yeah. has already eaten his food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the man will take good care of you. Yeah. Okay. She said no. Why did yeah, you say no? Yeah, of course no. <laughs> okay. I am human. Uh -huh. He's human. Uh -huh. the, the things should be fifty-fifty. Go to America and <laughs> Western part. That is fifty-fifty. <laughs> In Africa, we are just like our lions. We <laughs> we reciprocate from our. You, so you love fifty-fifty. Yes, we are educated. Like uh, okay, yeah, we, we we did mention it's good to be educated and all that. Mm. So we're talking about the family setup. So uh, according to you, fifty-fifty. Yes. So the man should go to the kitchen, cook for you. Of course. Okay, mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> but she says no. No. Okay. I say yes. You say Unless, yes. Uh -huh. Me, I prefer uh -huh. my man can go to the kitchen to cook for me uh -huh. only if I'm sick. Uh, uh huh. Unless I've delivered a baby and there's no one to take care of me, that oh is only goodness. when I can allow my man to go and cook for uh, me. High five. <laughs> 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 I strongly support. I strongly support. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Only that. Mm -hmm. But my man cannot go to the kitchen and just go and cook food while I'm just seated and relaxing. Yeah. You know. That's a weak man. Yeah. Yeah, very weak. <laughs> Normally in an African <laughs> or in my culture. 
but I'll talk to you. Okay. You want to say something? <laughs> no, I don't have to say. Okay. Uh, so you prefer a man to cook for you, to prepare food for you, to split the bills 50-50. Yeah. And uh, when when the tags come, you start fight them then 50-50. <laughs> you do your 50% and then I come do my 50%. So if you if they kill you, then me I, I surrender. I say I can't do this. <laughs> What do you say in that relation? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. let me say like this. Mm -hmm. um, I just say that because, mm -hmm. of course, the promises that you men give, uh, give to us, mm -hmm. it's like, when I marry you, I'll do this. You know, when you're like, mm -hmm. when you're like about to make a relationship, mm -hmm. you have to make conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Condition must be there. Uh -huh. and. If it's not ready, mm -hmm. then it's not necessary. Yeah, actually, one point I agree before you enter into a relationship, there needs to be an agreement and agree on what you will do and what you can't do. Yeah. Like for me, if I enter into a relationship with a lady, the first time I meet her, I, I, I tell her the truth because I, the mistake men make is uh, telling you ladies lies. Mm -hmm. And then later on, the lies catch up with us. But also the mistake you ladies do is accepting to be told lies. Because <laughs> if you are very honest with a lady, maybe you won't get her. But if you lie to her, you'll get her. True or false? Mm, true. Exactly. So if I meet you and I'm interested in you, I'll tell you the truth. If you are to date, I won't split 50-50. I will take good care of you. Yes. I won't go to the kitchen. I'll take good care of you, but you you must do this and this. Yeah. That does not mean I disrespect you. I respect you so much yeah. to start a family with you. Mm -hmm. So in that relation, I'll take of you, but let our traditional roles stand. Yeah. So do you change your mind right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> this one has been formatted. <laughs> Why not? No, I, I won't. You see, mm -hmm. when a man says yes, mm -hmm and it's truly really like yes mm -hmm. then definitely you will do anything like 50 50 will work okay for me if a lady says 50 50 mm -hmm. i just walk out so or you i see? just walk out with respect because mm -hmm. that does not reflect the type of uh, relationship or the type of culture i am from yeah, yeah but i respect that so maybe if you are to date and maybe we come to a, such a point i'll just tell you respectively I can't do this because of this and this, but if you meet a person whom you can uh, compliment that way, well and good. Yeah. So I have one question. Okay. <laughs> your father and your mother, oh. do they split the bills? No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll change the story. I'll change the story. <laughs> you change the story. Yeah, I'll but change the story. Let me tell you, if you get an American Western or in Africa, you get a weak man. <laughs> then that you can, <laughs> that way you can, you can, you can survive in that type of relationship. But in Africa, or mostly in our culture, you can't accept that. If a, ma a man who cooks is a weak man, <laughs> is a loser. You should not come to sit with the men, culturally. So, and we appreciate people's culture because actually I work, I meet the Chinese. They have their culture. So whenever they tell me stories about their culture, I just listen, but I don't argue with them because you cannot change yeah. culture. Yeah. But now, due to modernization, if you support your ideologies and meet somebody who uh, also supports the same ideologies, then you can work together. Yeah, yeah so no big deal. No big yeah, yeah, so <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Any final thing you want to say? Uh have another thing to add yeah 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 but i think uh, me and her we, we have the same ideology yeah. <laughs> uh, but not like we will date <laughs> no just for the sake of the conversation oh, yeah. yeah but i respect that and i believe most of our parents the setup has been that and uh or in your setup it's been different no your dad and mom it's not different who pays the bills my dad and uh, who cooks my mom is your mom disrespected when she does that no but she does that with passion yeah. because she takes good care of the family. Yeah. yeah, so it's all about the if it's good for you, it's good for you. If you find somebody like that, I'm not discouraging you or I'm not, but we have we must have two sides of the coins, right? Yeah, yeah but anyway, 
Thank you for having that amazing discussion. And these lions have put us in that shoe. So we have to <laughs> talk about it. Yeah. So uh, the guy who is at the boat ride, is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. All right. So I want you guys to finalize. We finished this episode and I show the lion. And then, um, first of all, maybe let me appreciate you in a small way. Yeah, not so so but i'll come back again in, in december okay because i was once uh i was once a tour guide so you like it when people appreciate mm. you for for their time and taking you around and i hope i'll make it in the trails okay. Sharon. Awesome. Nice. So, uh, well, you're welcome. But I appreciate for you taking time to take me through and also for your friend for coming and uh, having a discussion about life <laughs> in relation to humans and the wild animals. Yeah, I honestly appreciate. So, I want you to, because she says she might be opening a YouTube channel. I want her to finalize this video. I want to see how she does. Okay, so this, the camera you hold like this. You hold it firm and make sure, firm, uh, like, yeah. So that's how you record yourself. And if you want to illustrate, you point. If she's talking, maybe you want to capture her, you point that way. Or maybe if both of you are talking, you point this way. Or maybe if you want to show the subject like the lion, you go close to, yeah. So <laughs> I'm actually teaching her, if, if she starts a YouTube channel, that's how she should be doing. So wrap it up in five minutes. So let me see how you do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm glad to be in Kitale Nature, whereby I met some friends. Mm, like Queenie mm -hmm. and Anoto in China. Yeah. yeah, and I'll be opening my YouTube channel mm -hmm. kindly if I open, like, subscribe, and share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What will be the name of your YouTube channel? Shazi. Shazi. Yeah. Yeah, Shazi. <laughs> Not, Ch not Shazi in Kenya. <laughs> no, in Kenya. It, it will be not Shazi in Kenya. It will be just Shazi. Shazi, just Shazi. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, if you're passionate about it, just do it and uh, I'll be the first one to subscribe and let's see how this journey takes you. And uh, how about your friend? I don't have much to say. I so just that say way thank you. You, you, you. you can hold it this way so that you observe her here. Okay, that way. Okay, I don't have much to say. I just say thank you. I met a new friend today uh -huh. and I'm glad <laughs> why are you smiling at me <laughs> because I can't accept you to pay 50 50 <laughs> but anyways okay so ladies and gentlemen this has been Sharon in Kenya and this has been Winnie, Winnie in Kenya they both represent Kitale Nature Conservancy yeah. and this has been an auto in China so I can release you and then let me finish with the lions and finish this episode and go to the boat ride because the guy is waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then finally I'll go to the nature trees. What time do the egg close there? It's almost. Almost? Yeah, six. Six. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I hope we get to the nature trail. So let's see. So you guys can go. I appreciate. Thank you for your time. Okay, yeah, thank you. I'll be coming around maybe in December also. So I hope I meet you guys. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Good night. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are the amazing ladies. They have taken me through Kitale Nature Conservancy and I've had a good time. So, right about now, I wanted to finish this video with this warrior. Money, money, money. So, let's see what we got here.
and we try to see the female one. The female one is over there. Normally the female one, unfortunately he can't access, but it's over there. One of the most, and by the way, we've had just a very good discussion with the ladies about the lion and the setup. But uh, let me add on something. A, a brief description between the male and the female lion. The male normally have the men, and the female don't have the men. Um, the female, I'm trying to locate the female. So that's one of the most distinctive features you get to see. And uh, also, most of the females, most of the time, the females are the ones which normally hunt. But the lion, the male lion, some people say it is the most laziest animal in the world because it spends like almost 20 hours just laying down. But the females are the one which one which normally hunt. And when the female hunt, they they, they bring the food or the food. The male starts eating, then the children, and then the females one, they're the ones to eat, like that one. So in captivity, they say they can live up to 20 years. But uh, here, uh, uh, but in the, in, in the wilderness, they, in the wilderness, they, the guy is feeding them. In the wilderness, they live up to 12 years. So I want to see him feed them. Let's see. Actually, I want to see how he feeds them. Like the hyena is already. Niaje? Apa Simba in access apa? Nice out of Lona Z feed. Aye, video shooting mina lipia kukuja apa, but it's okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's okay, don't worry. But I'm finalizing. <laughs> so he says I'm not allowed to shoot. I don't know why. But uh, this is uh, open to the public. They need to allow people to shoot. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> I've, I've done most of the shooting for the last one hour. So he's actually feeding them. But uh, he says, I should not record them. Why should you not record? How will you market yourself? How will people know of this place? This one has a deformity. This one. The legs are very, very short. The deformity of the legs, you can see. The guy at the other end is waiting for me to do a boat ride. He wants to teach me how to do a boat ride. The llamas are back here and I need to exit this place uh, because time is catching up with me. 5.45 and I want to do the nature trail for 30 minutes maybe that will make the that episode of this video so I want to exit this is the hyena the hyena spotted hyena but I have to exit this place near Kupo are you waiting for me? Oh, the other guy. Oh, let me go. Let me go. So, let me finish this episode from here. Thank you for following me through my journey from China to Kenya. This is Anoto in China. And make sure you subscribe, follow, and share this video. And hit that notification button. The guy is feeding these amazing lions over there. So let me go for the boat riding. This is an auto in China. 
see you in the next one